Hello, welcome back to Krabby Vision. Um, got quite a bit of talk about today. So, uh, just to quickly go through the topics that I want to discuss today, um, I think the first thing that I want to talk about is uh, some support, some ways to support, and what's coming up with that, and how I'm going to do that. I've had quite a few people messaging us asking us about ways they can um, support. So if you had not seen it already, there's a Ko-Fi or a coffee, um, buy me a coffee link in the description, um, which is great. And there's also a mental health um, mind charity link in the description as well. I'd rather you supported those guys than giving me a couple of quid to buy a coffee, but people have said that they'd still like to do that. So if you want to do that, because you can't monetize YouTube until you get to a thousand subscribers, um, you can't have super chats or anything like that so if you'd like to do that if you'd like to support us and buy us a coffee that's fine do it through the Ko-Fi link or the coffee link we'll call it Ko-Fi um, do it through there if you want and all of that money um, I'm going to keep to one side and I've decided that I'm going to use that on the cathedral build that I'll talk about more um, a bit further down the line um, but that that's where that money will go. It'll probably sit there for a good few months. Um, if there's a tenner there, I'll use it to buy some some extra bits. That but that's what that money's going to be used for. Um, if if there's any donations of that manner. Um, so that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. The second thing I wanted to talk about um, was some upcoming builds that I've got. So there is going to be some builds coming up that I'm going to try and um, do on stream which is um, something that I've not really tried too much on and try and keep these chatty and things but I do re recognize that people want to have um, something to look at so there's a couple of builds that are coming up um, that I'm going to keep on stream model wise so they'll be 40k orientated um, I am going to be doing a Necropolis Hawks um, Dreadnought. I'm going to try and do some green stuff work and some conversion stuff on him so he should look pretty good. Um, I am going to be doing a Necropolis Hawks Aggressor Squad, Flamestorm Aggressor Squad. Um, so I'll be doing that. And then I'm also going to be doing um, a Gravis Captain. Uh, Necropolis Hawks Gravis Captain, which I'm looking to do some quite heavy green stuff work on. Morning, Busey, mate. Or afternoon, even. Busey. <laughs> I don't even know what part of the day it is. I'm just running through some stuff that I've got upcoming, mate. Just uh, watch it at your leisure. Um, so, yeah, so I want to do that stuff. And then the last thing that um, I wanted to talk about today before I start painting and stuff and just getting into general crack and just general banter about life is uh, the dead zone stuff. So I got some dead zone um, models, the first ones that I've got. I know I touched on them last time I was on the stream and spoke about like my first impressions and stuff. But having sat down and you know painted one up fully now, um, I've, I've started on a couple of the, the models that weren't as good as sculpt. Yeah, I'm back in the cave, mate. I am. I've started on a couple of models that weren't as good of a sculpt. Um, now that I've got those and started painting them, and I'll be I'll be continuing with uh, with a couple of those today. Uh, I wanted to give a bit more of an impression on those models and, and how I feel about them, and just how I'm tackling painting them really. So um, I'm going to switch over to the to the uh, the action cam where all the good stuff happens. If it works, so this time this should work a bit better because I've hardwired it. So hopefully there's not as much lag um, on the action cam. But let us know if it's any better. I used a, a wire, so it's it, it shouldn't be laggy through the Wi-Fi, and it kind of takes some of the drain off the Wi-Fi by by doing it this way. So hopefully it looks a little bit better um, for you. Sweet, I'm glad, mate. So. Aye, so just looking at these models then, I'm painting uh, these blue dudes, I'll get one of these guys because they're a bit further on. 
Um, so I'm painting these fish type dudes. And I'll be honest, like, I haven't been that impressed with the quality. What is this camera going to settle at? Well, hi mate, how are you? Uh, I haven't been that impressed with the quality. Now, I don't want to be the guy that uh, sort of slags them off again. I think I said this previously. Um, but they're not they're not super good quality. That being said, they are deceivingly better than I thought they were. So like the detail seems to come out more as you paint as you paint them. That might be like a lack of experience on my part. Um, that I was uh, a bit jump jumping the gun a bit by kind of saying I didn't like them much for the detail but um, it does seem to come out a little bit more as you paint them so I'm actually I'm, I'm not that annoyed by them now now that I've started painting them um, so yeah I quite like them I like the look of them the concept of the the different alien races is very Star Trek-y reminds us of Star Trek so I quite like um, I like a bit of Star Trek. So I quite like the different alien races. I've just based this guy green to see how he would look green. He's like a um, uh, like a flesh tone color on um, on the the artwork, but I, he, he quite reminds us of a, a race from Star Trek that's like a, a lizardy type. So I'm gonna have a whack anyway. And see what the see what the crack is. But these are these are pretty good. So I'm gonna base in some blacks today on said stream. Have I got any black on my palette that's not destroyed? No I haven't. Uh, this might be saveable. Yeah that should be fine. Uh, so what's happening with you guys today? Thanks. Yeah Paul was the latest today. Oh mate, I don't want to get I don't want to uh, get amongst your nap time. You go and have yourself a nap, dude, if you need a nap. Or listen to me, and I will promptly put you to sleep. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess the the chat at the beginning of the video um, was just about like I had a couple of people say send us messages asking how they could support the channel. Or me, sorry. And uh, I was just saying the Ko-Fi links in the description, and I'm going to use that to put towards my cathedral build. If that gets any sort of love, that's fine. If it doesn't, I'd rather people supported the mental health charity. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to do with that. If if people want to do that, I guess it's up to people to do that. But you can't monetize. YouTube at all to put super chats or anything in until you get to a thousand subscribers, which I'm at least a couple of days off that. <laughs> yeah, don't don't tell Andy uh, that you're sleeping because of me though. Probably put us off his stream. Looking forward to Andy's stream today. It looks like an interesting one. I always feel it's actually when you start doing it and sitting down, you might be better at this, uh, Paul, because you've got the whole writer's thing, but I always find it really difficult to, um, to uh, pick like a subject and a topic and then, then word it correctly and stuff and try and get your point across, which is why I like a bit of a ramble, more of a ramble in man, you know, more than anything else, I think. But yeah, I guess I'll talk a bit about that cathedral, the idea of building that, because it's kind of forefront of my mind at the moment, if I'm honest. Very excited about it. So basically I've got, um, I've got some kill team terrain. Um, and I have acquired, through sort of training with 
uh, ape if you have a he's ever he's been in here a few times I think um, who runs the the competition I'm in I've got I've acquired some more terrain from him and then uh, Christian Reeve Reeves who has been an absolute legend and just told us to send him Thingiverse files to print out which is amazing so I've acquired some uh, bits of detailing and things off Christian or I will do when he's printed them for us which is unbelievable probably one of the nicest things anybody's ever done for us to be honest I don't it's completely selfless and I'm not used to that so it's a bit sort of weird that he's doing it but very grateful for him doing that um, so I am basically going to try and build a centerpiece as a cathedral so I've got loads of architectural stuff in that out that I've been looking at and, uh, I sort of need to order some um, 5 mil foam board um, and I am just I'm looking forward to it I want to be I want to do like a big stained glass window I want to do sort of high detail so like street lights and things like that and, and just keeping it really sort of um, sort of really detailed and nice like I want the, the streets to be quite detailed and things so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that and it's going to fit in perfectly with uh, the Necropolis Hawks that I'm doing because they're a city based um, force they're going to be a sort of urban fighting force so that's cool I'm, I'm really looking forward to it I got I downloaded like the 3D modelers version or a 3D sort of structural version of a um, cathedral image so I've got that and I've been kind of transferring it to paper so that I kind of know where I'm at with it um, so I can break it down into parts that are easy manageable and then I'm gonna stick it on um, stick it on a base I'll probably do it on some cardboard or something first try and get the layout and the sizing and everything right against some models um, but yeah looking forward to it yeah, mate, mate, he is a top top lad, and you know, there's not many people I think would do that for for someone. Really, really solid thing he's done. I'm, I'm I says to him, I messaged him the other day, and I says, mate, I don't, I don't really know how to say thank you. If I'm honest, because I, I, I'll be brutally honest with you, is like I'm, I'm not employed at the moment, so money's a bit tight, and it's kind of put almost a stop to me hobby. I mean, we, me missus is kind of trying to rein in the spends a little bit I basically I lost a very well paid job um, so it's kind of stopped all of my hobby in its tracks sort of thing but we've uh, with, with things like that it's kind of it gives us something to do it gives us something to concentrate on you know so it's really helpful Yeah, it's not it's not very nice the whole money thing. I mean, look, I I got another job, but it's a it's a more than a fifty percent pay cut. So, I, I, but you know the the position you know as I've discussed before from like a mental health perspective and stuff is that I need to be working for a company that wants us to work for them. So this is the right company for me. I feel I, I think I've made a good choice um, to be around the sort of people that this company has in it um, you know, it's going to be it's going to be a good choice for me long term so I've never um, you know I've, I've made a couple of little purchases but you know, it's come out of money that's maybe been sat there and, and you know we haven't so it's, my missus is really good at saving so um, it's kind of come out of that I just realised this isn't even on camera I'm going to try it for the end of it um, but yeah, it is. It's a little bit shite in it when you can't buy buy stuff to kind of fulfil your hobby. I, I find myself sort of looking around and um, and repurposing things and chopping things up and, and stripping things and um, kind of trying to use what I've got lying around, which to be fair is is plentiful. Um, I mean, I built. I've been building sort of little bits of stuff like this. So this this will eventually. Um, if it'll show up on camera eventually be a little statue thing that I'm going to use at some part of the not maybe it's not the cathedral itself but somewhere in the cathedral so it's got a 
storm cast on the top that will be painted as brick and I've done two of those, one's got a smashed um, thingy bob on you know um, and then so I've got that sort of thing uh, where I've kind of done that, and that they'll be cool to paint uh, no doubt about it they'll be they'll be cool to finish and cool to paint I'm just taking my time with them um, they'll be sort of basic-ish statues I think um, in comparison to some of the stuff that Christine's going to print off for us which is going to be more of a focal point statue uh, but yeah I'm kind of chopping things up and, and doing all that sort of stuff so it, for him to do something like that it was just it was just really nice like I was, I was taken aback a bit to be honest I know Andy says it quite a lot on his channel like he doesn't really know how, it's hard to know how to respond to people that are just being nice um, I think it's because it's not it's not uh, as sad as it sounds it's not a, um, it's not a regular thing now is it people being nice all the time which is a uh, Again, why this community will never cease to amaze me. Now, I've obviously, now that I've started the stream, I can't find the bloody paint I want, can I? Where did I put that paint? Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, Paul, I'm sure, I'm sure it'll get back to it, mate. I'm sure you'll get back to it. I'm just uh, just trying to kind of stay positive. I think the the thing that has kind of helped me a bit, man. I don't know whether you like this, but I, I'm a I'm a big fan of learning, so I quite like learning new skills and stuff. And something that's really helped me um, is like using sort of I made like had bits of wood lying around, and I've made like wooden plinths, and I've made. Um, like little stands and stuff for me like I made this this is really stupid right but I made this for me phone because I was sick to death of me phone not being stood up so like I used a piece of wood sanded it down and stuff and made it and faffed about and it probably took us about half an hour because it's just a little piece of wood but it really helped like fill the time in you know all that sort of stuff anything anything that's going to occupy me creative mind I'm all up for that. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There is there is a lot of nice people in this community, mate. I, I would a hundred percent agree. Blows me away sometimes. Um, but yeah, the streaming stuff's a bit. So, I'm okay. Like, I'll be honest, and and Andy will know this because he hasn't. He, he'll be able to see. I'm guessing. I haven't watched Andy's um, videos that he's put up today on or yesterday on the uh, spray on the um, airbrushing, and that's because I know that I kind of really I'm not in a position to go into airbrushing and buy a good airbrush and a good compressor, and um, well, I'm not in a position to do that. So I don't really want to learn how to clean one. If I'm honest, um, so I jumped in and left the videos alike and stuff for him. Uh, but that's the frustrating side. So I try and avoid watching stuff that's going to frustrate us, um, because it, it it would get on top of us a bit. I think. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I am quite enjoying just picking stuff up and trying to make stuff out of it, like. Especially with this uh, cathedral thing at the moment, I'm going to have to, like I've got cat litter here that I'm busy kind of sifting and doing different things with and fantastic looking rubble and things. Um, I've been trying, I had some air drying clear that I'd had for one of my kiddies um, school things, like they had to build something, a Stonehenge it was and we used air drying clear. So. I had that kicking about um, and I've been using that to make sort of moulds so that I could make some little barrels and stuff to put under rubble and things which has worked really well 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 enough actually 
What are they like to build? Uh, the mate, they all came built. I'll be honest. Um, there was like five or something I had to build, and they, they weren't bad. They, they were fine. Um, there was the old lines and that are considerable. This guy ended up having no tail. I lost his tail somewhere. I don't even know how that happened. Um, but yeah, he he was one of the ones that had to be built. Went together, no problem really. Um, this was another one that had to be built. Uh, went together, no bother. I did have to do a bit of gap filling, so I just used a little bit of milly put um, to do that. But like these guys came, they just had to be glued to their base. So I just glued them to their base, and the rest were kind of on their bases, which wasn't great because a couple of them were bent and kind of wobbly and stuff. Um, but yeah, not too bad, mate. They're nice looking models, to be fair, if you like that sort of thing. If you like that um, sort of uh, Star Trek y type universe, is what it is. I don't really know Star Trek y, Star Wars type universe where there's different races clearly and obvious conflict if you like that sort of universe then they're, then they're really nice models some people don't like it some people prefer I think like a like a bolt action type more realistic I use realistic in inverted commas but more realistic uh, a more realistic toy soldier game is what they like which is fine I really like the likes uh, the looks of uh, Blood Red Sky to be honest and Things like that, like that sort of thing, really interests us. Um, I'd love to get my hands on, on the models, really, but um, yeah, not too bad, mate. I, I kind of say that they're bad models to put together overall. Like, if you can see on this guy, so he's got what looks to be some sort of harpoon gun, and it's kind of bent at the end. I don't know if that'll even focus. It's a bit wonky. Wonkatron 5000 at the end. Let's see if I can bend the camera up a little bit. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, it's those bits that frustrate me more than anything else because I can kind of deal with the uh, I can deal with the lesser sculpts, but it's just I think it's the material they've used. To be quite honest, it's just a bit odd. To make them bad models, they still look good. I think when you when when I've painted them, I think they'll look a bit nicer because I can kind of use the paint to um, to define some areas that need extra definition. You know. Hot water fixes it. Yeah. Um. I. Kind of did that. Uh, I just used a little bit of boiling water and, and and sort of submerged the model for a little bit and then bent it with me hands. Um, but it hasn't it hasn't completely fixed it. Obviously, I think some of it's gone back to you know, how it was. But it's fine. It's not it's not unplayable. Um, they're definitely usable models. Hundred percent. I'm quite looking forward to playing the game to be honest, I think the game looks unbel unbelievably good and it looks very very good indeed. So I am quite looking forward to playing the game. Um, I like the idea of the sort of the, the movement and stuff and how it's uh, how it's all set up on the... Uh, uh, what they're called, like uh, is it hexagons or squares? I think, I think it's squares this one isn't it? I like the idea of how you move per square, there's no measuring involved. I think that's a really simple way to do things. What's good for shooting birds? I'm lost. Shooting birds? Oh, the, uh, he's a weapon thing. He's a fish man. He's like a fish tail dude. Got a little hook thing as well in his hand. It must be their weapon of choice. That racer's weapon of choice. That was a song, wasn't it? Just 
So once I've blocked these colours in, I'll be able to go back and do the detail and kind of go over with a smaller, um, a smaller brush, get some detail in because the it's pretty impossible, if I'm honest, to get any detail in off the bat on these models. You've got to block the colours in and then go back. I would just like the sculpts to be the. Uh, I guess they're a print, but I would just like them to be a little bit sharper. So I think they could probably achieve that if they increased the size of the model just ever so slightly. They'd probably get a nicer, a nicer finish. Yeah, I guess it could be played made over Skype, but it's not a bad idea. That actually, I'd never thought of that. But it's not a bad idea, is it? I guess the I guess the person you're playing with would either have to have a proxy. Yeah, just so you could play, you could put your mat down, set up all your terrain the same as each other, and then you just use a proxy for where um, where the opposition models are. I guess on your table, wouldn't you? That would work quite well. I guess if you had both armies, you could use the both armies, but. Proxy would work. That's a good idea, mate. Because I think some of the things, like, I, I was watching a, a battle report the other day on just trying to kind of get a grip of the movement and stuff. And they were talking about, um, uh, like, aerial bombardments. So they were talking about, like, that you could... Um, use an artillery bombardment and it hits a square and, and it the way it did it was it, the squares are let out down one side and numbered down the other so it's a bit like battleships um, you could kind of do it with like you could say my my you know, my blue fish guy is moving from A3 to A7 um, that sort of thing and it would work in, in kind of a similar sort of way oh you did it already I've never. I don't know anything about Beast Grave to be honest, but I'm presuming it's a similar movement system. And how did you find it? Did you find that it was great, or was there a lot of sort of stop starty stuff in there, or? I'd imagine it would work all right. Just a couple of beers or something, couldn't you? And then just kind of sit and chill out a bit. With a couple of beers. It might be something that I. Uh, that I would explore in the future. I would certainly like to have a go at this game uh, sooner rather than later. I know Andy's. Uh, Andy said he wants to have a game with us, so uh, I might pop up playing him at some point. Bit of a grudge match that one. Got me mugged today, that was awesome. Ah, Texas. Yeah, see that was the other thing I liked about uh Dead Zone. There, there was there didn't seem to be a huge amount of um sort of cards and abilities and stuff beyond the the sort of standard things. So the the thing that I that I, I love forty K for is that the individuality of um, the different models and how they all have abilities and different things uh, and I love that if I want to go and play for four hours if I just want to play an hour's worth of game and then kind of and not have to tax my brain I feel like I feel like this would be the better option oh is it I haven't read the last one is that the third one I haven't read that one yet How's the mug? Yeah, it's nice, mate. I like it. Uh, I haven't got it with us right now because I've just put it in the sink about half an hour ago or something. So, uh, well, more than that now. But yeah, uh, it's lovely, mate. I'm well impressed. Oh dear. Aye, no, it's good, mate. The mug, and it's uh, it's got my name on it and stuff as well, which is which is awesome. The whole Krabby Vision thing on it and that, which is cool. 
again, you know, another sort of thing that that the communities kind of gave us really. I, I, I would, you know, it's weird to say this, but I would consider Andy to be a friend almost, and you know, as I would with most of the Blackjack community, despite having never met a single person on there. It's weird that, isn't it? Like, as a kid, it was like, if you don't know the person, they're a stranger, and stranger danger, and all that sort of jazz. And then as an adult, you're like, hold on, I know this person. Where do you know them from? Well, I know them from online. It's very strange, but, you know, I guess that's why, um, that's why sort of kids and stuff need to be so careful, because they're, they're just used to it now. For me, it's a bit odd. Yeah, I was going to use it as a brush holder, mate. I think I probably will. I've got a little pot here that I use, but to be fair, I need to go through my brushes and get rid of all the shite, because I've got some stuff that's just never going to get used, and it's just sitting there taking up space, you know. Has he said that, has he? Well, yeah, and I can kind of see... I can see where he's coming from, mate, because... Like I've said, I think I said it on that stream I did with him, you know, I, I don't have any um, any mates that do uh, wargaming, I don't have any mates that paint models, so this hobby for me is actually quite isolating, uh, which is kind of alright, I, I, you know, I don't mind sometimes, but at the same time I would like somebody to discuss, you know, the latest things with, and um, to have that sort of community feel, which is... One of the reasons, or the reason, sorry, that I have the the channel now, so that I can kind of discuss those things and with like-minded folk, and then people kind of you you begin to appreciate people from like from chatting to them and stuff like I, I you know I'll probably say this again at some points, but you know you you guys coming in and kind of listening to me ramble and and talk about shite really uh, you know I, I appreciate that and I appreciate that you could be off watching you know a tabletop tactics or a repeat of Andy's or you know whatever you could be doing anything else with your time having a nap I guess um, so it's, it's kind of you, you, it's hard to explain but you gain like an appreciation for people's time and their willingness to to try and be part of something, you know, or to try and sort of help, or, you know, I, I honestly, I kind of believe Christian doing that thing for us, you know, um, like, it really blew me mind, uh, it, 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 even now, thinking about it, like, it's, it's just an amazing thing for somebody to say, yeah, yeah just send this on the well, print them for you, like, it's just really kind, and it's just a nice, a nice community. I hope in some way I can, I can repay at some point and and you know do something for him. And I think that's really, it's a nice place to be. You know, it's just really cool. And like I would never have known Dead Zone existed if it wasn't for the community. So there's that as well. Um, like I would never have even gone looking past GW. As much as I love Games Workshop and I love their stuff and I'm really excited about the Necrons thing that's cut that's that they've kind of teased yesterday. Uh, like I love all that stuff, but like I, I love sci-fi and and you know having it having a different universe to play in is is also great you know and I don't know it's just a really nice. Thing. I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know how to put it into words, I'm not very good at Normally I'm alright putting things into words, but I'm struggling at the moment. It's just a really nice thing to be part of, humbling and um, quite refreshing in comparison to you know, where I've been previously. So yeah. Anywho, dead zone models. I feel like I'm talking about mental health too much on these... Uh, So I'm painting, the, the idea with this guy is, so I've, I'm trying to keep as much of them like with this black um, as, as I can and then I'm going to use 
your spot colour is going to be that luminous pink which is like the neon pink colour um, I use like a dark blue as well for some of the some of the armour and stuff I'll come back and I'll go over it with a dark blue like a night blue I think it's called I think it's called night blue I can't quite remember it's a really dark blue Canto blue I think is the equivalent GW paint but it's a really dark blue so I'll come over and fill that in and then they'll have the same hopefully the same sort of um, look as the gorilla dude that uh, grungy cyberpunk not grungy that sort of what's the word I'm looking for futuristic sort of um, cyberpunk slash sci-fi twist to them I guess but they'll still be uniform so even though these guys are going to have white armour some different markings and stuff on and they're still going to be quite uniform yeah I've found anybody in the community that I've asked for uh, advice um, Paul, anybody that I've asked for anything to be fair um, I don't, and I'm not one of them people that asks people in general I, I kind of keep myself to myself but when I've asked people for advice or when people have you know, had conversations with me about stuff it's more than more than happy to kind of share that share that knowledge which is again fairly refreshing in consideration to, to some things that I've been in you know like I was uh, previously about seven, six, seven years ago I was a personal mm -hmm. trainer and uh, you know being part of that environment is, is completely different like there were so many people coming into that just to make money. Um, trying to be a good trainer just wasn't valued, you know, and like doing things like the extra nutrition courses and all the other stuff to try and build your knowledge and, and trying to do things the right way for people and stuff. Just It was just like you were just frowned upon because you weren't cool or you weren't doing something on TikTok, you know, or whatever. You were was really really hard to to maintain that in that it being in that industry for any amount of time it was so negative and toxic um, and it's almost completely at odds with what that industry is supposed to be so being in something like that and then and don't get us wrong there's good there's good personal trainers out there there's nice people but I just I'm talking about overall Being in that and then coming out to, to something like this is is quite sort of stark, really. A party starting. Uh, about could do with a bit of a party. Not necessarily by me. What do you think of the, uh, the new regs, the new regulations? A bit of a mess, aren't they? I'll be honest, it's not going to affect me. Did I drill those holes in the base? Uh, no, mate, that's... Um, uh, I haven't got any line about it. Uh, I think it's for stitching or something it's like a little meshy type material I've just glued it on the top it's that stuff and it comes in like an A4 sheet and I've got two different sizes so I put some of that on it's quite thin and then I put a little bit of um, uh, balsa wood there just to look like a bit of a step and it should hopefully the wood will maintain some of its roughness when I when I paint it and I'll try and pick out some bits. Just trying to make it look industrial mate to be honest. Sort of spaceshipy industrial I guess. Thanks mate, yeah. Maximum of ten people. 
I didn't think you were allowed to do that. Hadn't they taken that back this morning and said that you were only allowed one person? I thought they'd said you were only allowed to go and see one person. But it's not going to affect me, mate. I'm not going to do anything different. I'm staying in the house, you know, the missus. She's a key worker, she she does all the shopping and stuff because she has time to do that and it saves me going out of the house and risking, you know, contracting anything, um, risk, risking the children and stuff, so yeah, just trying to keep it, keep it on the DL if you like. Whoa, bars and restaurants. I thought, was it, ah, oh, was, it, was it not used that I had to go back over then? So you used, did you used not have to go back over on your um, thing? Because obviously we've stepped forward into whatever, whatever they are now, but did you, I thought you guys had to go kind of backwards a bit. I could be wrong, like, probably wrong. 50% capacity in bars. How are they going to do, like, when, you know when you go to the bar for a pint, what are they going to do? They're going to make you queue. And then where do you queue? Like, I'm, I'm slightly confused as to how this is actually all going to work. Ah, only on terraces. It's mental, isn't it? I don't get it all, mate. Like, I just struggle with it. Like, I try and understand the, the logic in some of their government's decisions at the moment. I'm trying to stay away from it, but uh, I guess it's hard to do. You've got to be vigilant, alert, or whatever the, the new slogan is in the UK. Stay vigilant. Yeah, I don't know if I was a cold phase zero, but if I'm honest, I think they're winging it. But I don't know what else they can do in the given, given the circumstance. I'm not sure there is anything else they can do. I think they've kind of got to got to wing it a little bit. I think it could have been, Boris um, on the telly uh, last night, could have been a lot more clear just to give people, you know, a bit of reassurance and stuff. He also shouldn't have broke away from the rest of the United Kingdom because now it feels like we're, we're doing different stuff to essentially other members of the same country, which we all are, whether we like it or not. It's become very political all of a sudden, which is annoying. Yeah, I, I'm not entirely sure, mate. That they I don't know that they've even thought it through. What do you do as a bar? Like, what they've got to think is, as a bar owner, right now, you've you've been struggling for the last eight weeks financially. All of a sudden, you've got an influx of people. So, are you going to stand at the door as a bar owner and turn people away? Not are you. You're going to push the boundaries of the sort of 50% allowance which means you're going to have to have policing that sort of going out and policing it if you like so I don't I don't I don't know what they're expecting the government but yeah it's a bit of a strange one should just give everybody free hobby stuff and then we could uh, we could encourage social distancing via hobby should be funny
these models are quite fiddly to kind of get into it. If I'm being single piece, they're just a little bit of a pain in the arse. But you can kind of see the definition coming through a bit better now that now that I've got some as thin as they are, some some paint on there, you know. Missed quite a few mould lines. I'm not that fussed because I don't want these to be like perfect paint jobs either, to be fair. I just want them to look uniform and decent. So I'm not that fussed about sort of missing a couple of mould lines or, you know, things not being absolutely perfect. It's only a matter of time, mate, before they're in houses as a standard practice, in my opinion. I can't see that being long at all, if I'm honest. I think if I was a housing person, I'd already be looking at that. How to put how to how can I get them into my houses as a sales point? Like they put kitchens and stuff in at the moment. Can you imagine buying a house and it's got a built in 3D printer? It'd be awesome. I think it's only a matter of time before the technology gets to the point where it's really easy to use. At the minute, it's just that little bit too complicated for the um, for the general workforce, for the sort of general population. It's only a matter of time before it gets simplified. Same as mobile phones or smartphones or smart tech. A matter of time before somebody comes along, simplifies it, and then people will start. It'll be in building the houses, the same as smart tech is. It'll be you know, very much a, um, a thing that I think will be used for many different purposes, probably multiple times a day. And it'll kill industries, and it'll birth industries, and it'll make a lot of people a lot of money and it'll probably bankrupt a lot of people along the way as well unfortunately but such is life it's only a matter of time can you imagine if the government did something like that though and they, they were generous enough to um, to give the nation 3D printers and say okay we need Everyone to print face masks. We'd never have a shortage of face masks. We'd also have loads of Mandalorian models. Yeah, mate, I know, but I think they'll 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 come down even further in price. I think you'll you'll end up being able to get them like you can get a coffee machine for your for your kitchen table. There'll be one. Very similar, where you, you stick a resin sack in or whatever, you stick a pot of resin in, pour it in the top or something, and then press what you want it to print, and it'll just print it out for you whilst you're having your breakfast or something, you know. I think it's more about the usability at the moment. So, smartphones hit the same barrier. Because you've got a, an aging population with smartphones, what, what I've spent most of my time working with, um, you find that mostly the people that have money are, um, the, the, the people that have enough money, sorry, to invest in smart tech are limited at that entry stage. So when, for example, um, I don't know, the ring doorbells come out or whatever and they're like 200 quid each. The people who have got enough money to, to, to sort of buy one at that stage are quite limited. So what you have to do is you have to open up the availability to uh, retirees and things like that. So they have to be easy enough for people that are, are old to use and that was smartphones as well. So when, you, when the smartphones are pushed over the barrier of £1,000 a handset, there's not many people in the world can afford to get those 
and they kind of got around it with contracts and stuff um, but another way they got around it was by making them more usable and more user friendly so now a lot of the stuff is one press um, on smartphones which is fantastic <coughs> excuse me I'm just going to check this uh, thing again my phone seems to be going nuts all of a sudden Right, I'm going to do a bit more of this and then I'm going to go and grab me the tea because I totally forgot I was making, having tea today. Or she was making tea today. I'll be getting rank. So, short and sweet, uh, I'm going to shoot off now. Um, let's get this back up to the top. Right, I'm going to shoot off now. Um, I'm probably going to do a video at some point during the week, just I want to go through um, my plans for the cathedral. So it'll probably be a bit more of me sitting here talking and asking some opinions. Um, I want to go through that. And uh, yeah, I might do I might do a couple of shorter ones later in the week. Um, just kind of this sort of forty-five minutes to an hour type, and then trying I'm trying to figure out some sort of schedule. Um, so hopefully, do like one, just sit and chat, see how it goes, see how long it lasts, just have a bit of crack, and then I'll probably do two shorter streams where I talk about specific things. And yeah, probably ask for some advice, ask for some thoughts and opinions on things and, and, and show you sort of works in progress and stuff. I want to do that as well. I think that's probably worth talking about as well. Um, but yeah, thanks very much. Cheers to you lads for popping in and, and thanks for anybody watching it. And I will see you again next time. <laughs>